forced humility. Because mm. I positive and negative, I like the humility. It just is what it is. You, yeah. sa you said you don't trust people. Do you trust? Do you trust uh, your in-laws? Because it seems, you know, we look at the, the world and it seems like everything's a storyline. Do you trust that they won't turn your life and what you're going through to a storyline? Uh, and, you know, of course, I'm going to give you a slick answer on that because I'm like, <laughs> you got to go home. <laughs> I got to go home. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, what you expect? <laughs> but uh, like right now. We writing part of the story, right. you know, just by even doing this and speaking. I, I like the way that my wife communicates and documents things. You know, as an artist, you know, I think it's good to document ourselves, document our now. I don't, I don't have all the answers that a celebrity is supposed to have, but I could tell you that. When he was running, it's like, I felt something. It's like, the fact that he won, it's like, it proved something. It proved that anything is possible in America. That Donald Trump could be president of America. I'm not talking about, you know, what he's done since he's been in office. Yeah, 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 but yeah. the fact that he was able to do it, like, remember I said I was going to run for president? Yeah. I had people that was close to me, friends of mine, like, making jokes, making memes, talking shit. Now it's like, oh, that was proven. That that could have happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, I, I get what you're saying. I he, felt the non-conventional. You know what I mean? Even from what we're doing in fashion to me being the kid with the pink polos to me being outspoken to me being ostracized because of the Taylor Swift thing or the George Bush thing or you know uh, who I'm dating, who I'm marrying, what I'm talking about. Like all of this is like an outsider thing, you know. So when I see an outsider infiltrate, I connect with that. So maybe that's what you like the idea of. Yeah. Not necessarily the idea of Donald Trump, but the idea of an outsider infiltrating. Yeah, I like that it showed you that anything is possible. It shows you that it doesn't, even like Virgil uh, working at Louis Vuitton, Trump being in office, it's a time for the unconventional. I'm, I'm very, I'm not a traditional thinker. I'm, I'm a non-conformist, mm -hmm. you know, so that relates to the non-conformist part of me. I hit the glass ceiling. You ever seen a bird fly into a window? Hell yeah. They don't know it's glass. That was me. When I hit that hospital, that was a bird flying into the window. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I could have, you know, not made it out of it, but I survived and shit, but it's, um. Are you scared of that happening again? Um. You having a breakdown, a breakthrough? Nah, nah. I'm happy it happened. I'm happy to see have have gone to the other side and back. You know, there's some things when it happened. I do want to. I, I want to speak on. I I want to point out the moment when you're in the hospital bed and you're next to your friend and you tell them, "Don't let this person leave my side." And they put you inside of an elevator and take all your friends away from you. That was the scariest moment of my life. But you thought they was going to drug you or kill you? I or... thought I was going to get killed. And, you know, my wife wasn't in town. So I told my, my boy Don and my boy Sky, like, don't leave my side until my wife gets here. And they have this moment where they're forced to leave your side. That's something that has to change. You know, it's like if a pregnant woman is, you know, delivering a baby, guarantee whoever, the people, her sisters, the, the dad, they get to stay next to Word. them to the baby is delivered. Not leaving my wife in that situation. Yeah. yeah. HSP, you, you were paranoid of everything. You don't believe nothing. You're just seeing through all of the simulation. Mm -hmm. Everybody's phony. Everybody's an actor. All this shit. <laughs> And then they make your friends, the only people you believe in, leave your side. I can't express to you, like, how traumatizing that moment is. And then you waked up, drugged the fuck out. Mm -hmm. Did they, so they put you on medication? Yeah. Are you still on any now? Or? Oh, most definitely. All right, what they got you on? I ain't gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> does the medication help? You don't, I mean, you, you don't want to tell us what it is, but does it help? Um, it's 
it's an imperfect solution, just calm me down. But there's a lot of ways to calm down. Do we, yeah. I don't want to calm you. Yeah. Companies, ideas to ignite the next generations. Like everything is possible, you know? And I'm just a vessel and that's my job in the universe as a servant to the world.